pentatonics, major or minor. We'll, we'll get into that, what that is. Uh, basically, our jam track here is part of a new trip tune, which I'm going to do a little video a bit later to let you hear a little bit of the tune. It has this kind of bass thing, one note, basically just an F. E flat there on four, uh, one, two, three, uh, and four, whatever, but basically it's just F, so it gives us a lot of possibilities for soloing. In the trip tune, it has this, this other guitar part that goes over top of that. Anyway, we're going to play with this one note jam. A one note jam gives us a lot of possibilities for what we can play, but what we're going to do with to stick with today is probably the most popular uh, sound we hear over like a one note jam or whatever, uh, basically a minor pentaton sound. Since that note is F that we're hearing the bass note play, we're going to go grab an F, either the first fret of your low E or the 13th fret of your high uh, E. I'm going to go with the 13th fret and we'll play it up higher a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go, uh, it's gonna, you may already know the scale, but we're going to talk a little bit about things we can add to it and ways to practice over a jam track. But the scale is going to go like this. First finger to the fourth finger on the sixth string, which is going to go frets 13 to 16, which is an F to an A flat, so 1 to 4. On the fifth string, it's going to go 1 to 3, 13th fret to the 15th fret for a B flat to a C. Then the same thing on the fourth string, E flat to an F. And that's actually our five notes, F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat. So we went 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, and then F again gives us the completion of the scale, which is like the sixth note, but it's really an octave higher than the low F, so we really count it as a five note depends on the scale. So we went 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3, which was going frets 13 to 16, 13 to 15, 13 to 15, string 6, 5, 4. Then, same thing on the third string, 13 to 16, or sorry, 13 to 15. Again, it's A flat to B flat, so basically it's the scale going over again. Then 13 to 16, so 1 to 4, 13 to 16 again on the high E, 1 to 4. So our whole pattern went 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 4 on the second string, 1, 4 on the first string. And notes were F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat. Repeat. F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat. Repeat. F, A flat. We've run out of room. But if we go into the other pentatonic boxes, those five notes would continue. And in that first jam I did, that's all I was doing was playing notes from the pentatonic scales, but different scale forms. Right now we're learning one of the forms. Um, okay, so now let's jump right in and practice with the, the jam track. We'll throw the jam track back on. Oh, which by the way, real quick, I'm going to throw it up. It'll be over on the side menu in the description uh, to, to, for, so that you can jam along with this track. I'll put it up either on musiclearning.com, my site, that's probably where it will go, or maybe up on MySpace, either myspace.com forward slash tripviews or guitar lessons or, anyway, it'll be in the description. Okay. Here we go. So here's our jam. 120 beats per minute is the speed of this tune. We're going to play quarter notes. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, over and over. Okay, we're going to do it with me. One, two, ready, go. I just down picked it. You could alternate pick it, whatever. Let's now make some eighth notes. We're going to double it. So that was our quarter note, right? Every beat. Now we're going to double it. So we're going to go one and two and. So I'm going to go down up now. I'm going to play the same pattern. One, two, ready, go. Now I didn't repeat the note at the top. If I do, it will give me the same pick pattern back down. If I don't, I ended up with a reverse pick pattern, right? Because when I got to that first string, I went down, up. When I came back to the F, I'm a down and then up again. So every time I get to the string, it's an up. Hope that wasn't too confusing. But anyway, the point is, uh, practice it where you repeat the A flat at the top and you don't. Here it is repeating it. Ready, go. One more time without repeating it. This is without repeating it. Ready, go. I would do both. Okay, now we'll do a triplet. Eighth note triplets. Three notes in a beat. This is the, if you watch my other videos, you hear me say it all the time. Triplet, triplet, triplet. You got it. Triplet, triplet. Ready, go. Let's do that again. Two, ready, go. Let's repeat the A flat at the top, that top note where we're going to repeat it. Ready, go. Nice. Now let's do 16th notes. So we went uh, quarter notes for one note in every beat. I'm going to go here to the high string. 
And then our eight notes, we doubled it. Down, up, down, up. Then our triplets, we went triple it, triple it, triple it. Now sixteenth notes will be four in a beat. So quarter note again. It's easy to get to it if you play your eighth notes first. Here's our eighth notes down, up. Play these eighth notes all down. Then add the up in between it. There's our sixteenth note. Here we go, sixteenth note. Ready, play. Repeating the top note. Two, ready, play. Oh, that was a mess. Two, one more time. Oh, repeating the top note. Ready, go. Not. Neat. Uh, then we could do quintuplets, five notes in the beat. So we would have basically one, two, three, four, five. This F would hit with that snare drum. Here's the snare drum half. It's on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So you're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five. That's a hard one to count. It's too fast. But anyway, the F would hit on the fifth. Quintuplets. Uh, sextuplets. I know I just said it, but six notes in the B. Sixteenth note triplets, you could call them. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the A flat is going to happen on the B. So that's going to give us a... Um, it's pretty fast, right? Uh, let me see if I can go all the way up. You hear that one a lot, right? I'm going to explain that one in another video. That's a cool little riff, so, uh, so subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll do a video lesson to that one. Okay, let's stop it here for a minute. So we basically talked about playing over this one note jam, essentially. It had that E flat in, but it was basically just an F. And we explored an F minor pentatonic scale over it. It was a five note scale uh, that gave us a certain sound. And we played quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenth notes, quintuplets, uh, sextuplets, or sixteenth note triplets. Uh, whatever you want to think about it, uh, over that. Now I realize if you can't play the 16th note triplets at, at 120, that tempo, then a metronome is good, or a drum machine, and slow it down. You know, see if you can do them at 80, or 60, and then gradually increase the speed. Uh, I'm going to put this jam, I think I already said it, but this jam track is going to go up. I'll put a link on the side so you can, um, have fun with it, uh, jam along. I think it's an important thing to do as, you know, I think it's just a great way for your ear to grow, and it's a lot of fun. Okay. So I just a little more things, and then that's all we'll talk about in this video. I'll do another video with some other jamming. But I basically just want to talk about if you add another note from this scale to fancy it up a little bit. So I have my pentatonic scale. Like for example, I'll play the same scale, but I'm going to add a G, the 15th fret of my high E string, or I could add it on the 12th fret of my third string. That would be a G, or the 15th fret of my low E. So same scale, except I'm going to add that G. I'm going to add this G, which is out of position, so I slide or stretch back and then slide forward, G to A flat, and there it is again. Now listen, I'll start, and I'm just going to play the pentatonic sound. And now I'll add the G. There's that G, right? It adds a new sound to what we previously heard. There it is on the top. 